it's time. We're moving into that time and now where the Lord's, Lord is saying to us, Horeos, it's time. It's time for this awakening. It's time for a breakthrough in California. California is entering into a six-month window where you can go through the gate of glory. Chuck kept saying at night before last or last night, can't remember. He kept saying, this is going to be a gate of glory. The glory of the Lord is coming through this gate of the Southwest. When he started speaking this in Vegas and then last night in the south part of the state near San Diego, I realized the, this dream that had been given. I realized what it meant. I'm going to read it to you quickly. The lady had the dream says, before going to sleep, I had a quick vision of a large statue of George Washington. He was mounted on, the, on a horse. Let me just paraphrase this first paragraph. He was on a horse that was reared up in the statue, and he had a gun that, like the one they used in the Revolutionary War, and he was pointing this gun. Then she said, I fell asleep and dreamed, and the same statue was in my dream. I knew the dream was in Washington, D.C., because I could see the Lincoln Memorial lit up, and the cherry blossoms, my noticing of these things, the Lincoln Memorial and the cherry blossoms seem to be very significant. It is significant. You're going to see in a moment that I'm in this dream and the cherry blossoms is, is a giving to us of time, of the timing of this because they blossom in March. Six months from when she had it. What, five months from now? The gun that George Washington was holding was pointing toward the southwest. I realize when we were in Vegas and in San Diego last night, the Lord was saying he was pointing to this region of the nation. And isn't it amazing that you're going to see in just a moment, I'll just go ahead and tell you, I'm standing under this reared up horse. I'm under the legs. So here's the generational thing. Here's the ancient gate. Here's the past. George Washington. And, and wherever he pointed, the, the statue swiveled like this. And wherever he pointed, I began to decree. Wow. It's the agreement. It's a generational synergy, but. He starts by pointing to the Southwest. He's pointing to you here in California, southern part of California, but then he swivels and goes to the north. And he goes back and forth in the dream, pointing to the Southwest gate and up the north. Under the legs of the statue, I saw Dutch sheets. I, didn't, I don't know who he was talking to, but he turned to his right and said, it's time. I'm going to tell you, this is a significant dream. I don't know if I'll read the rest of it or not. But in the dream, he's pointing, and I begin to decree to the southwest part of the nation and then up the north, and she said this Statue kept swiveling between the north, the southwest and the northwest. I believe when the cherry blossoms bloom, something very significant is coming to the west coast of the nation. I believe what God is saying is you can win this war for the soul of California. And, in, and rather than being a gate for that which would be evil to come into our nation, California can be a gate of the glory of the Lord. Wow. 
it's time. The only other thing I'm going to say about this dream, then I'm going to just lead us in prayer. In fact, you want to come up or just hand me, hand you the mic down here. You can come up if you want, Chuck. If you want the worship team up. Yeah. One of the interesting things is wherever he would swivel on the horse and point, we would decree and prophesy into the nation. Every time we spoke, eagles came and grabbed the words and took them to the place we were prophesying to. But a very fascinating part of the dream was that I used a megaphone, but the megaphone was huge, like she said in the dream, maybe three or four stories tall. And she said, in the dream, she her her, her thought was, "There's no way this, there's no way you can hold this up and use it. It's too big." But a company of people came, hundreds of them, and set the megaphone on their shoulders and held it up for me, so that I could decree what God was saying. It was the prayer army in the nation. The megaphone says to me, God wants to increase the voice, the, the influence of the church in the nation. He's going to increase our volume. He's going to increase our strength and give us a bigger voice in the nation. We're coming into a season where we're going to decree a thing, Chuck said it tonight, and it's going to be established. And what used to take years is now going to take days. We've been decreeing things, and decades later we see it begin to happen, but we're going to decree a thing, and it's going to happen immediately. Now, Lord, we just ask you for California. We say, Lord... We don't curse this state. We bless this state. We say it's time for your glory to come into this state. Break through and bring a spirit of awakening and revival into this state because it is time. It's time for the wind of your spirit to blow once again. It's time for a spirit of faith to reach down and grab the man at, at the gate, at the right time gate. It's time for right time miracles. It's time for signs and wonders to come that are of a nature. They are so supernatural and they are so profound. They are so uh, incredible that they grab the attention of the unbeliever. They grab the attention, Lord, of the masses, the multitudes gather. These will be signs and wonders. Glory is coming, bringing signs and wonders into the state, and it's time. And we prophesy that it's time, and we say we're moving into a great window of opportunity, a Kairos window of opportunity, and that as we decree your kingdom coming over this next six months, there will be an amazing breakthrough in March. We say that the winds will blow in March. The winds of your spirit will come in significant ways in March. These will not bring natural fires. These will bring spiritual fires. And a wind and a fire that cannot be quenched will blow through this state once again. And it will marry the, the anointings of the past. But the strength of today will be multiplied. And what you do will be greater than what you've done. And the wine will be more powerful and effective than the wine of the past. And we will honor the wine of the past. And we will marry the wine of the past. But we will get the wine of today and the wine of the future. 
So, Lord, we will be in Washington, D.C. I pledge to you that I will be there when the cherry trees blossom. And I will point to the southwest. And I will begin to decree the glory of the Lord is coming to California, to San Diego, to Albuquerque, to Tucson, to Phoenix, to the southwest corner of the nation. And then it will go up to the northwest, all the way to Washington, and back and forth. The the nation will shake and quake on the west. We say, Lord, nothing will stop this move of your spirit. Now, I saw something. So many of us in this room, we've been walking by and seeing something that needs to change, and it's not changed. The Lord says right now, I want you to know your hour is ahead. Now I want you to just reach down and say, I'm ready to pull that thing up into a new form. Lord, I loose new forms. I loose new forms. I loose new creativity. I say it's time for a new form. I say it's time to reconstitute this state and this nation now that's a word to this state I'm going back to reconstitute it I'm going back to a place it's a I see it I see the root and how it's attached tomorrow we've got to deal with this father we thank you right now it is time to pull things into a new form Lord, we loose this in California. We loose it in California. Now let's worship for a moment.